right. So, uh, the fossil record supports this theory. That's the first thing. Because you'll notice that this current animal is very similar to this ancestor, this ancient animal. So they're suggesting that we had that they had a common ancestor. Okay. Right. Since the appearance is the same, the anatomy is very similar. So they're suggesting based on the fossil record that these are related. Okay. So we have more yellow words you have to know. So just memorize the yellow words, okay? The most important thing is homologous, vestigial, and analogous. The three is like uh, supporting ideas? No, they're all a little bit different. So homologous is like human arm and a front arm of a coarse front leg of a cat. So since we have common ancestors because they're all mammals, if you look at the human, there's the radius and the ulna, the two forearm bones. Two forearm bones, two forearm bones. Mm. Same name, radius and ulna. Mm. So that suggests common ancestor, but different purposes. This is used to walk, used to walk, and the human arm is used to carry things, not used for walking. So they changed? Right, so it's the same, what does it say here? Anatomically similar structures, common ancestor, but different. Uh, function? Yeah, different function, right. So they develop by their... Arm. Yeah, to adjust the environment. Right. So these are used for walking because they're quadrupeds, we're bipedal, so we're used for carrying. Okay, so it's homology. So all this, the three have the same ancestor. Right, that suggests a common ancestor, a different purpose of the limbs. Yeah, um, this definition, you have another definition. Okay, so vestigial organs are organs that we no longer have a purpose for during evolution. So the pelvis bone of a whale is very tiny because they don't have legs. The pelvis bone of a snake is very tiny because they don't have legs. The ear muscles on the human, we have them but we don't work. They don't work. Some humans can make their ears legal but mm -hmm. not many people. Mm -hmm. It's basically vestigial. Also humans tailbone, we don't have tails anymore. So we have a little tiny tiny tailbone or it's actually called the coccyx but we'll learn about that later. Okay so basically Due to evolution, there's no more use for that organ. So this, this homologous structures is like they, they change, adjust from their environment, and this one is they uh, like abandon the useless. Right, it's useless, and this is common ancestor, but through evolution, the purpose of the limb changed. So the anatomy is this very similar. And analogous is different ancestor, it's a different body structure but very similar purpose. Mm -hmm. like the wings of an eagle is used for flying, the wings of an insect are used for flying. They have different ancestors. Different ancestor because insects and mammals are totally different ancestor, and the wings is a totally different part. So if you look at the wings of a bird or a bat, it would be basically the, the hand bones of a human. It evolved into a different purpose. This is totally different with different body structure, different everything, but the same purpose is used for flying.